This is what most of us think a tree's root system looks like. So diagrams like this one are pretty common where what you see above roughly matches the size and shape of what's underground. However, scientists can use pressurized air to blow away the soil around the tree's roots so we can better understand what the root structure of various species looks like. And what they found is that the vast majority of trees grow like this one here, where most of the roots are extending laterally in only the top two or three feet of soil. Some trees have these little sinker roots here that help anchor them better in the ground, and some trees have a little taproot that goes even further, but 99% of the root's biomass is in the top three feet of soil. That is because the tree's root system needs to breathe, and it needs oxygen, which is found most abundantly in the top two or three feet of soil. That's why when a big tree like this one falls over in a windstorm, you only see the small root plate at the bottom that doesn't extend that far down into the soil. And that's also why cool trees like this one can exist even though the bottom is washed out. And if you think of a forest where hundreds of trees are in close proximity with each other, all of their roots are connected and they can share nutrients and even communicate with each other through their roots through the fungal network.